A okay. uh, great destination, too, is Late Harvest Kitchen, and the owner and chef of it, Ryan Nelson, is here. Good to see you again, stranger. Good to see you. Thanks All right, the me. bagel. It's a... Uh, I'll be, I'll be perfectly honest. I prefer a bagel to a donut. I don't know a lot about the history of either. Uh, I'm with you. In the morning, I think it has to be savory. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't want to eat something too sweet first thing. For me, it's like uh, you're going you're gonna to wreck me for the rest of the day. It's like starting a be start a beer flight, not with a, like a stout or sure. something. That sure. sort of thing. So. Uh, my favorite way to have them actually is with, uh, with lox. Okay. Uh, here's some cured salmon that I made myself. Uh, it's sliced out. Did. We've got all the accoutrements. We've got capers, red onion, chopped egg, oh. uh, cream cheese, some herb butter. So if you guys are hungry, I've got fresh toasted bagels here. Beautiful. Feel free to make yourself one. That's my wife's, uh, like I said, that's her Christmas morning breakfast every year is that. And But she hasn't done the eggs before. I'm going to have to add that. It's one of my favorites. All right. So the everything bagel casserole. Uh, my wife makes egg bakes all the time. Like mm -hmm. you said, Christmas morning. Like we would definitely sure. have an egg bake Christmas morning. Yeah. I've never done it with bagels before. Okay. But it makes makes perfect makes sense. sense. Yeah. So we just start with some eggs, a little salt and pepper, mm -hmm. a little bit of milk. Now there's recipes for this on the Thomas's uh, website. They've uh -huh. got about 140 recipes. A lot of great stuff. A lot of great ideas. Yeah. But well, I would suggest. View a recipe as a framework. I mean, if you have the bagel, you have the egg, your toppings, your accoutrements, those are all interchangeable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you like asparagus, use asparagus. If you like mushrooms, use mushrooms. So I chopped up the bagels. Use the everything bagels. Then I'm going to add some cheese. Now, this doesn't have to be like a couple of days old bagels or anything like that, right? No, just, just you could gra go, go in, grab yourself a package of Thomas's, and go cut and go. Okay, yep. yep. And I've got some turkey sausage here so we can keep it, you know, kind of healthy. Nice. Uh, some mushrooms I just sauteed off real quick. And then I've got these uh, red sweetie drop peppers, which I kind of put in everything. Okay. So we'll add oh, those. Oh, that's, see, you, uh, you may not know this. Firefighter Tim puts Hungarian paprika in almost nice. everything. So everyone should have a go-to ingredient, a signature ingredient that they put in everything. And we just, we just kind of coat everything. We get the eggs. Coating that bagel. I'm going to throw out some statistics here. In 2020, more than 356 million packages of bagels were sold at grocery stores. Of those, 198 million were Thomas's. They know what they're doing. A lot of people look for that name, and for good reason. Most popular bagel toppings nationwide, cream cheese, butter, flavored cream cheese, cheese, jelly slash jam, eggs, deli meat, margarine, peanut butter, nut butter, and bacon. And as a restaurant owner, I can attest that more people are cooking at home. Yeah, 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 sure. So if you want more ideas, look mm -hmm. for recipes, look for different ways of doing stuff. But we, I mean, this is pretty easy. Boom, That's yeah, and, what, feed, minutes? and feed an army. Yeah. <laughs> or small army in this case. And then magic of TV. Of course. We've already got one done. We're actually, um, with people staying at home more, and the viewers are sick and tired of hearing about this, we're, uh, we're going through a kitchen renovation in my house. So I am having to go way outside the box in sure. terms of finding ways to feed my kids using what I have in the in the garage and this is perfect you gotta get inventive <laughs> I actually found the uh, bagel slicer in the garage the other day and my youngest asked me what is that like, what is it I go it's a <laughs> bagel slicer he goes it looks like a guillotine I'm like why do you know what a guillotine is why do you know what a guillotine is <laughs> but a you don't know what a bagel slicer yeah it's exactly what it is yeah. anyway that's it's fantastic uh, what, what, we ask chefs this a lot if you had to make make yourself a bagel sandwich I love movies that are surrounding uh, chefs in kitchens and they show them at the end of a shift, sure. long, hard day, or maybe the reviewer skewered them or something, or they didn't get the Michelin star, and they go home and they make themselves something. What's the chef going to make with a bagel? Chefs go lowbrow. Yeah. Chefs go, I, mean, like, I brought bologna today, like okay. something from childhood. Uh, they go, like, we put an egg on pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. uh, we like cured meats. We like salty. We like a cold beer. Okay, you know, you're like you're like the uh, the the craft brewer that that drinks some Miller Lite while they're making their own craft beer. That's a good analogy. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. The okay. website we have it, LateHarvestKitchen.com. We'll put all of Thomas's information on our website as well, IndieStyle.tv. 